Hey, what's happening, folks? It's Jimmy G in the place to be, welcoming you back to another episode of The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we give our first reaction unboxings and unbiased opinions about all toys, all things pop culture. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you've been here before, thank you for showing back up as we make our march to a thousand, where we're going to be giving away some really cool stuff. But today, we're going to go to the universe of more than meets the eye and see if there's something that is going to bludgeon us to death or not. So let's take a look at this transformer that we're going to transform. And here it is, folks. The Comic Universe Transformers Legacy Evolution Bludgeon. This is future Jimmy breaking in right now with this unscheduled interruption here to talk to past Jimmy or current Jimmy. Um, you keep calling Bludgeon Tarn. Bludgeon is not Tarn. Tarn is Tarn. Bludgeon is Bludgeon. And uh, you need to correct that. You need to go forward and know that. Beat that into your brain. Bludgeon is Bludgeon. Tarn is Tarn. Your stupidity will not be rewarded with any points. And may God have mercy on your soul. Back to your regularly scheduled program. This guy looks very, very cool. I have an affinity for, well, we'll talk about it a little bit later. Let me just tell you a little bit about Bludgeon. He is what you would call in the G1 universe uh, a pretender. Uh, so in a samurai kind of skeleton uh, there, uh, he is a pretender, mainly in the comic books. Uh, and so Bludgeon, he was a master of the ancient Cybertronian martial art of Metallicato. And he and his blades can cut through the battlefield as, as if everyone is operating at a minimal speed setting. Uh, so this is awesome. I mean, you can see right here, I have good old Tarn. Tarn is one of my favorite legacy bots that came out that, that is little known to a lot of people, but uh, was a Decepticon bounty hunter, part of the department of D the DOD. Uh, so he... Uh, not the Department of Defense, but, you know, he had he had a bunch of people that he went out and he gave poetic justice to renegade Decepticons. But Bludgeon here, Bludgeon's a little different. He is a samurai, and I love me some samurai. I love feudal Japan. I love those things. That's why uh, Demon Slayer, uh, the anime, really speaks my language. Uh, but this is great because the one thing that I really love about this guy, not only does he look like a samurai with his facial sculpt right here, uh, but... He has a sword. Not only does he have the BFG, which is the big friggin' gun, but he also has a friggin' sword. Now, here's the thing. Transformers with BFGs, awesome. Transformers with BFGs and friggin' swords, super awesome. So let's take a look at the box. The box has him here. He is, like I said, a retool, a remold uh, of uh, Tarn, uh, but with some other colors with the orange and the green and things like that. I was When they first announced him, I was extremely, extremely, extremely excited. I, I know some people are like, well, I already got Tarn. Why should I get him? Because he's got a big friggin' sword. That's why you get him. And so if we look at the side here look at that this guy is amazing uh and so one of the cool things that uh coming down the road when especially when i do my unicorn unicron series is i've got some of the uh the uh the japanese samurai versions of like galvatron and and of cyclonus and then i've also got uh some of the other iron factory ones too as well the uh, grimlock which i heard is phenomenal looking but this one for my legacy from official Hasbro is going to have to do, uh, but looks very cool. We got, we got good old, good old, uh, um, hot shot right here. Uh, we have, uh, Optimus prime. We got right there. We got nemesis. Uh, we got Armada prime, uh, all sorts of really cool looking bots, the insect insecticons and all sorts of cool stuff, but the artwork very, very, very awesome, but we're not here to see just the artwork. And there you go all the stuff that says hey do stuff environmentally friendly apple not apple uh transformers frustration free packaging what i don't like is it just i got this from amazon and got a little bit of damage on it but i am an out of the box collector for most things so that's okay but let's do this let's get him transformed out of the box and unleash the full power of bludgeon the samurai right hi jimmy 
Samurai! Samurai Bludgeon is out of his box and right here, ready to do some martial arts destruction. Imagine him in the lineup of Mortal Kombat! This would be epic if we had... Ooh, how about that? A Transformers fighting game. That would be kind of cool. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, but here he is out of the package and on to my stage. What's up, brother from another mother? Get out of my face. I am from across and I will stab BD, stab, stab you. Oh, yeah. Well, I got a BFG. I got one, too. Uh, well, can we just hang out as friends? Okay. All right. So, um, that's enough of that silliness. But here he is. What you get in the box, you get, of course, the instructions that say it's 27 easy steps for most people. But for Jimmy G, it's going to be a few more than that. And then you also get that sword. Look at that. That is awesome. That is so cool. Uh, again, I am a sucker for swords or S words or whatever. This is great. So an S word for this guy, he is full of swords. And that's really great. And then we got his guns right here. And then with that good old Hasbro gimmick called Evo Fusion, you can put them together like so, or like so, however you want to do it, you do it however you like. And then you got this piece right here, which what is cool about this piece is it could be, you know, hold the guns together or you could stick it like this and like uh, this. And you've got a very cool uh, looking uh, kind of just cannon right here that you can stick on the back of the man, the lith, myth, and the legend of the bludgeon. Let's see. Let's put him on the back here. How do we get that under? I know he get, gets on there somehow. <laughs> Goes right there. Boom. And look at that. We got that. I like you better. I, I already say that. I'm saying that right now. I like you better than Tarn. Don't tell Tarn. Don't tell him. I know he's sitting right next to me, but you are so beautiful to me. Can't you see? So let's bring him in a little bit closer and take a better look at this fella. So we can kind of see a little bit more about bludgeon. But look at that face. I love the, the sculpt here where it does look like he is a samurai. Uh, so he is Ronin from the feudal Cybertron age. Uh, so again, he first appeared in the comics and he's all through comic continuity. Uh, so he's never been in the cartoons, I believe. So just only this is a comic book character. So if you're like, yeah, I just watched the cartoons and I've never seen him. Well, there you go. Uh, so... A few things that he does have. So let's take a kind of a rotisserie look at him. Uh, there is kind of the front. I love the orange, the green, the maroon, the silver. As you can tell, I am fanboy gushing over this guy right now. He is really cool. Where uh, And we'll, we'll compare him to Tarn here in just a little bit. Uh, but that is just amazing looking. The side, the back, there's not a lot of you know, there's, there's no backpack or anything except for this right here. But you know what? That's good. That's really good. I really enjoy this guy. So from a the official, the official Jimmy G ramen scale. So let's get him back there and let's bring in some packs of ramen. Brought to you by Mama Brand. The best Thai ramen in the entire world according to Jimmy G. Now some of y'all may disagree, but this is my show. Mama Brand Ramen is great. So we got three so far. We got four. I think we're going to be about five ramen packs. Maybe five and a half. If you get to the tips, tippity tips. Yeah, about five and a half if you want to go tippity tips. Uh, but five if you're just not. But so 
that's a lot of that's a lot of sodium. That's a lot of sodium intake right there for uh, one robot. So, uh, and I know Bludgeon can probably eat all of this ramen. So let's move the ramen out of the way. I will eat you later. And then uh, let's bring Tarn back. I'm mean, the Tarn. Let's bring Bludgeon back in just for a little articulation, so you can kind of see his head moves up, head moves down, side, 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 and you got it on a 360 uh, ball joint here. His chin kind of gets in the way of moving all the way around. Uh, arms can come up like so. Very cool. And you have 360. You have that spin, elbow. Boom, boom, and uh, that is it there. And then the hands, look at that. You got some articulations. The fingers do fing a little bit, uh, and the it spins too as well. So that's, that's really cool. So you can kind of have him pointing if you want him to. Uh, so awesome. And then from an ab crunch, no ab crunch, but he can do the arigato, kind of bowing right there. He can... Limbo, if you want him to limbo a little bit. Uh, and then let's look at the legs, because he's got legs. They do come out to almost the Jean-Claude Van Damme. What's getting in the way? I believe it's these leg skirts are getting in the way. I wonder if those pop up. Do these pop up? They do not pop up, because they're hooked to the leg. Uh, and uh, we'll not let you go further than that because of the nature of this part right here just kind of kind of impedes that but you know that's okay uh but you do get there you got that the knee bend you got that right uh do we have any twisty twist yep twist at the leg right there twist it back foot you have the rocker and the upper and downer so that's a little bit on Tarn, but again, they are the same, except for just a few redecos and things like that. Let me go ahead and get Tarn's uh, weapon out of here. And I called you Tarn again. You're bludgeon. Not that, but if you take a look, I mean, exactly the same when you kind of look. If you take the heads out and you just kind of go down the body, you can see this is just basically a recolor of Tarn. Uh, but Bludgeon has a different head. And if you look at the back, again, just a uh, really cool. And you can do that thing with this one, too. You can have the big gun right here. But the added benefit with Bludgeon is you get the sword. The sword. The sword of destiny. The sword, like, he is like the Transformer Highlander. Like, there can be only one. There can be only one. Only one. And I am the only one. You're the one that I want. Awesome. So, uh, let's compare him to a few other bots, shall we? And here he is compared to some other bots. I tried to get everyone that was evil except for good old Optimus Prime in the back. So we have Core Class Nemesis. We have my one of my other favorite Samurai. It is Iron Factory's Cyclonus. I forgot what he's called. I can't pronounce his name from the Iron Factory set. But he's got a sword just like Bludgeon. Uh, we have Shattered Glass Blur, Cyclonus, Bludgeon, Tarn, G2 Megatron, and, of course, Masterpiece, Optimus Prime. But uh, that is how he looks compared to the others. And so that is awesome. Very, very cool. And so let's move you all out of the way so we can give Tarn his time in the spotlight again. And uh, we will... Oh, no. I mean, that Tarn. Bludgeon. I keep saying Tarn. Dang it. Because y'all look so similar. Uh, so Bludgeon his time in the spotlight and so what we will do is we will transform him through the magic of cinema and we will transform before we do that let's have a little fun shall we let's really evo fusion the crap out of these guns what would you say about that so we're gonna we're gonna pop that right there and we are gonna pop that right there and oh yeah, 
Tarn, can you hold, I mean, Bludgeon, can you hold that? It's like the Joker's gun from, uh, f from Batman 1989, uh, right? That big old gun. He can't hold that up. It's so heavy. It's so heavy. I wonder if he holds it right here, too, as well. Let's see if he can get with both hands. He can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at me. I'm bludgeoning. And I got a big friggin' gun. Don't mess with me. I will take you out with my BFG. Not my big friendly giant, but my big friggin' gun. Because it's friggin' awesome. That is so cool. All right, enough of that. Let's get him transformed. Again, let's do say it in Japanese. Hajime! It's bludgeoningly, bludgeoningly cool. Look at him in his alt mode. He is beautiful and glorious. So glorious. Glorious, glorious. I love him. He is awesome. Uh, and I love him more than this guy. I mean, they both, I mean, ha basically transform exactly the same. Uh, exactly. I mean, there's no delineation from this. The only thing that's different is this one has this sword whereas Tarn does not. Uh, but let's take a closer, right, like, rotisserie look of this guy. And there is the top of him. I, the reason why I like him better, because he is more the colors of, I would say he's more tanky uh, colored. Uh, although the orange is not really a color for tanks. I mean, I guess if he's out hunting and you don't want other tanks to, you know, shoot you that's why you wear this uh hunter orange uh this is kind of that ut orange we're right here from knoxville got that ut orange right here go big orange uh but he does look very very cool i love the translucence i don't know if you can see that this these translucence right here uh the translucence uh pieces on this too as well and i just like how he looks at first i thought it's like oh this is just like a cobbled together mess but it came together fine a couple areas that gave me some struggles this right here kept popping off it just kept popping off it was it's it's not held together in a very very easy to well, it just keeps popping off. And then this part on on it popped off too as well. And that kind of gave me a little, it was a little booger bear. But overall, very, very nice. Very good. I think it looks awesome. Uh, so again, here's the top. Here's the side. Got to get that peg down a little bit more. I just got to fiddle with it a little bit more to get that peg down in there. Uh, the bottom. So you can kind of tell it just looks just how he is i didn't get that head turned good too as well i think that might have contributed to the popping uh but there's the bottom you can tell it's just a robot and then this side right here the upside down oh no no if it was the upside down it would be tarn right that color right there for the upside down so uh we'll put them kind of like let's do like this sorry you can't see what i'm doing off camera i'm making a if this was stranger things this is kind of like what you would see, right? Right here. Oh, sorry. This was Stranger Things. This is kind of like what you would see, the upside down. There it is. Where's Eleven when you need her? But, uh, but yeah, overall, just from a comparison standpoint, uh, they both look the same. But I'm going to have to give, I mean, this i mean is decepticon colors all the way i mean that's tarn tarn has the decepticon logo on his face but this right here uh i think looks really really cool this could fit in on earth if you want it to uh and just has just that just a just looks cool i mean and you got the sword too you can't beat that you have a sword uh so uh what do y'all prefer with your transformer swords or no swords s words or no s words uh but bludgeon if I had to compare the two and I had to pick out of the two, Bludgeon would be my winner uh, on both sides. And the main reason why, uh, with a head sculpt, I think it goes to Tarn with the Decepticon logo. Although this is very close because I love the samurai look. Ah, it'd be a tie. It'd be a tie for me. But what gets it for me, uh, What uh, body-wise, they're the same. Color-wise, uh, 
it's down to preference again he's all purple so he looks like a decepticon decepticon whereas this doesn't look that way but it just is got more of that feudal japan kind of feel and then um but what pushes it over the top is the accessory that right there for me so let's just see how move this out of the way and how he looks with some other vehicles here is Tarn with some other vehicles from the front. So you can see I got a uh, good old Blitzwing here, Transformers Legacy Blitzwing. Uh, Tarn, we got Magic Square's uh, Brawl, uh, little Minicon here, and then of course the uh, Core Class Wheelie uh, sitting right there. And then from the side, you can see him again. So arranged them kind of biggest to smallest, and uh, Blitzwing's just a little bit bigger. We got Bludgeon got here i keep calling bludgeon tarn i hate i i hate that i keep doing that and then uh we got uh brawl wheelie and this little mini con right here and let's get them out of the way and just remember from the official jimmy g scale uh, lengthwise we are one about about one and a about one and maybe a uh, eighth of a packet of ramen uh, from a lengthwise there and then from a height wise uh, about a couple packs of ramen there so cool uh, so let's get back together for my final thoughts on the bludgeoner welcome back everybody i hope you enjoyed so far my thoughts on transformers legacy evolution turlugeon bludgeon not tarn bludgeon I kept throughout this video mistaking the two because they're they're like they're like twins, right? They are twins. I mean, it's funny how they finish each other's sandwiches, uh, but they are like brothers from the same mother. Uh, this one was born first. This one was born second, maybe. I don't know. But uh, he took a different path. He went on the path to bounty hunt. He went on the path to glory and honor for the, for the uh, sake of the empire. Uh, so there they are, both of them together. How am I going to keep them? I'm going to keep them both in robot mode. I thought I was going to keep one in the tank mode and one in the robot mode. But... They, even though they are so similar in everything, the face alone, the colors, and the sword right here make me want to keep him there. And then him, he's just he's just BA right there. He's just freaking awesome. Um, so I have nothing but great things to say about Bludgeon. Um, the colors, I really like them. I really enjoy it. The face sculpt, I mean, you can kind of see that right there. That, I mean... Who doesn't enjoy that face sculpt? That is too cool for school. Uh, so, um, and then, I mean, he's got this whole victory saber thing going here. Uh, you know, and so some of y'all, if you don't know who that is, don't worry. I got a review coming up with him pretty soon too as well. I haven't opened up any of my Japanese Transformers because I'd like to do a Japanese series. And then the sword. And so maybe he's just like... Hey, you know what? I'm going to show you what Victory Saber is going to look like before Victory Saber even exists, you know, on this. So it's like if you wanted to repaint them and do some kind of adjustments, maybe you can make this one into Victory Saber. Who knows? Let's see. Go. Uh, so uh, but overall, color wise, awesome. I love it. Uh, form. Awesome. I love it. Transformation besides just a few of these things just keep popping off and things like that pretty straightforward i i did get stuck in a couple places but other than that i was able to get it uh get it done and some of y'all may say well you already transformed tarn before nope actually believe it or not when i bought this i left it in robot mode i never transformed it <gasps> sacrilegious so the first time transforming tarn was my first time transforming this one as well. Uh, so that's what's interesting there. But uh, Bludgeon will have a special place in my heart. I would love to see more of him. I'd like to see him in a movie or whatever. He just looks cool. And to have a martial arts master, whoo, can you imagine him against, um, uh, who was it, Drift, who had the swords in the uh, Bayverse? Um, again, uh, I'm not a... Um, I mean, I like the Bayverse movies, but uh, they're not my favorite. But still, there were some pretty cool designs. And I thought Drift with the... Again, I'm a sucker for swords. You give me swords? 
that's it. We're done. Like, if he had a lightsaber in his hand, done. Like, I have a whole plan on, like, how can we make a Transformer Star Wars crossover story? Some of y'all may say, well, they've already made Transformers into Star Wars vehicles. No, I'm talking Transformers and Star Wars. Like, you know, you have, like, you know, Unicron coming in to the galaxy far, far away, you know, here it is, like, sometime maybe after Emperor Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, or maybe right after whatever, and uh, the Emperor has found, basically, this, you know, this entity from out in the middle of nowhere and called towards it, and Unicron all of a sudden comes into play, and he comes up to that new Death Star, and he uh, and he gets, starts granting powers, you know, we, we start getting Transformers that have Force powers and things like that, and they become, like, acolytes and stuff like that, and so you have lightsabers and stuff, but Little do they know that that there were Autobots also living too, and we find out that Cybertron, uh, that Optimus Prime has already sent people in the in the shape of X wings and stuff like that. So which would be so cool, and then other vehicles, and so then you have you know you have that going with that. That would be awesome. It would be great, and I'm still working on it. But you know what? It could happen, right? It could happen. It would be kind of a cool story, maybe in the cartoons and the comic books. Maybe y'all can help me flesh that out. You know, Unicron and the Empire versus the Autobots and the Resistance and kind of just building that in and like you have you know you have because these aren't really robots they're aliens right so they they can have the force the force uh the force is what surrounds all living things and these are living things and so I'm sorry I'm getting into a rant about that but overall on a scale of good bad awesome what do I think of bludgeon I would call him friggin awesome uh I think uh, what pushes it over the top for me is the head sculpt and the sword. <laughs> You're like, Jimmy, just buy a sword for your Transformers. No! I like it that it comes with one. I don't want to have to buy something extra. I want the sword to Hassan Chop. He my samurai. My samurai warrior. My ronin here of bludgeon. Now, bludgeon, he is a Decepticon, but how cool would it be if he was, uh, if he changed sides and was an Autobot, uh, was a Ronin for hire. That would be so great. And now here I am, I'm making up other stories. That's okay. But uh, awesome, awesome, awesome. And I can't say enough about it. So if you want him, go get him. I ordered him on Amazon. He's available on Amazon, available at your major retailers. I think he's about $34.99. Tarn's a hard one to find now. So if you're like, man, I missed out on Tarn, then go with Bludgeon. Uh, if you have a Tarn, I would still get a Bludgeon. I think I like him that much. And so that's it. That's all I got for you. I am just so excited. It is uh, one in the morning and, you know, and I'm here playing with toys and I got to get up and go to work tomorrow at seven in the morning. But that's okay. We're having fun. I am deliriously excited about my transformers they're so great and they're more than meets the eye so y'all remember this we will review something else good bad or awesome coming in future vlogs so y'all remember to stay young have fun and be awesome konnichiwa